Hello fam, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So if you didn't see my spelling the March books out video, I will try to link it somewhere if I know how to do that or if not, I will try to put the video somewhere down in the description because it was really fun and we did it timed wise, which we will do it again for April. And April's a little bit harder to spell, kind of, but we shall see what we can do with the books. And then, of course, after you do your timed video of spelling April, you have to give a description of what the book is potentially about. And then at least tag five people in the video to do it next. And I will do that at the end because last time... A few people did the video, but not everyone I tagged did the video, so tag the ones who did it last time because that was pretty cool. So without further ado, let's get the timer and let's do this. Because you know you gotta keep yourself busy, busy during this time. Okay. We are getting my timer, or my stopwatch. So. We said it. Let's go. Okay, A. Where did I just see my A? Aha. I was going to say, I, I see my A somewhere. And then I see my P. I found my P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got A, P. I need R. Where's R? Where's R? I have more than one bookshelf, but I'm looking at this one. I, oh, that's the third book in the series. Ooh. Give me an R. Ooh, you gave me an R. Love it. Okay, we have APR. I need I. And I'm running out of time. Ooh. Why is I so difficult to find? I spy, I spy, no I. Really? I have no books that have I? Are we for real right now? I see I in like in the next letter, but not in the beginning of the letter. Like, what is this madness? I'm finding no I books. Can't see anybody. Oh! Barely, but I found one that started with an I. Oh my goodness. L. Oh, good lord. Why? Why do I do this? Because <laughs> it's fun and it's a distraction. Now give me L. La 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 la. L la 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 la. Oh, we need L up in here. Ay. I don't know what that was. Don't ask. L. This is going to be a really long time. It's a second in the book. We don't want a second in the book. We want a first. Give me an L with the first book. Can y'all be nice to me? Yes, you can. And stop. <laughs> that took a really long time. Oh, because it was long. That was my time. I'm not sure exactly how to say it, but that's what it was. Whew. That gives you about a workout, I'll tell you, my friends. And April! Woo woo! <laughs> oh, we are so weird, but we we dig it. Okay. Now like I said in the beginning of the video, you give a description about each book that you found on your shelves. So, let's go ahead and go with that. Bed's a little squeaky, that's okay. 
No judging here. Alright, for A, I found Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. I don't know a whole lot about this book. I started a little ways into it, like a while ago, but never continued. It's not because it was about anything, it was just because... Well, it wasn't, like I'm saying, it wasn't bad or anything at all. Just, I had a lot of other books I wanted to read at the time instead of this one, so I set it back down. But, let me give you the description on what Ash Princess is about, because it sounds really good. It sounds uh, right up in my alley, so here we go. Theodore was six when her country was invaded and her mother, the Fire Queen, was murdered before her eyes. Oh my. On the day that the Kajir took Theodosa's family, her land, and her name, Theo was crowned as Princess, a title of shame to wear in her new life as a prisoner. For ten years, Theo has been captive in her own palace. She has in endured the relentless abuse and ridicule of the Kajir and his court. She is powerless, surviving in her new world only by burying the girl she was deep inside. Then one night, the cashier forces her to do the unthinkable. With the blood on her hands and all hope of reclaiming her throne lost, she realizes that surviving is no longer enough. But she does have a weapon. Her mind is sharper than any sword. And power isn't always won on the battlefield. For ten years, the Ash Princess has seen her land privileged and her people enslaved. That is, that all ends here. Like, that sounds really good. And I have the first three books in this series. I really need to get a move on. Now would be the perfect time since everything else is closed and, you know, locked down. So... Here we go. Well, most places are locked down. Not everything, but pretty much. Alright, and for P, I found Portrayals by Dan Wells. This is book one in the series. I have all three books. I have had these books on my shelves for a while. They're supposed to be like the next best. Um, I am number four series or like the Hunger Games and I got it for the Hunger Games reason so I love that so hopefully this is good too but this is what it says on the back since it's paperback when our ex when our ex censors <laughs> were attacked at the Pearl Harbor they called it a day that would live in in family the day that the portrayals attacked us with the RM virus will not live in anything because there will be none of us left to remember it. President David R. Cragen March 21st, 2065 in a press conference at the White House. Three hours later, he hanged himself. I don't know what to think about that, <laughs> but it definitely sounds intriguing and if, of course going through like a time that we are right now, this can kind of be fitting towards that, it could be a little scary, but overall it sounds like it could be really good. Okay, so that was P, now we're moving on to R, and that is uh, Renegades by Marissa Meyer, and this is a group well, not a group, but a band of superheroes, and you got your anti-superheroes. You'll either like the superheroes, or you'll like the anti, or you'll like both. In my case, I kind of like both, but you're following our main protagonist, Nova. She is against the Red Engage. She's against the superheroes. She is the anti-superhero, pretending to be a superhero. Now that's all I really want to tell you right now for Renegades in case if you want to read it. All I can say is uh, please do because it is a good time. 
there's a little bit of romance in here but like not a whole lot you just have to read it to know what I'm talking about but it's like are they going to are they not going to does she does she not like what is her deal like what's going on but it is very good and oh if you like superheroes you'll definitely like this book it's kind of like uh, I want to just, just eh. <laughs> I want to describe it as like DC family and Marvel family like mixed to, mixed in together with it kind of vibe but we like that it's okay all right now we're moving on to I in which I found if he had been with me by Laura Nolan I've also had this on my shelves for a really long time so I don't remember what the description is about so let's go ahead and go in with that all right if he had been with me everything would have been different I wasn't with Finn on that August night but I should have been it was raining of course and he and Sylvie were arguing as he drove down the slick road. No one ever says what they were arguing about. Other people think it's not important. They do not know there is another story. The story that lurks between the facts what they do not know. The cause of the argument is critical. So let me tell you. Mm, that's sounds like it could be a creepy good mystery of what happened and why he slid off the road during the rain like but you know all right and then of course the last letter of the month which is L and it took a little while to find both I and L but we finally found them but for L of course I had two different options because I read both of these books but going with the first one and that is one and only Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare and this is the first the Dark Artifice series that are following Emma Carstairs, Julia Blackthorne, the Blackthorne family of course and then we have this lost Herringdale that is all I'm gonna say I'm not gonna say the kid's name whether it's a girl or a boy if you read the series then you know who I'm talking about but if you haven't read the series yet then don't pay attention but just know this is a really good fun time I love my children in this one and of course Emma and then Julian just ah, uh, and their pair of a tie so that part is fun but when we very first meet Emma and Julian it is at the end or towards the middle of the end of the City of Heavenly Fire, I believe. So, yes. And in this one, we do get uh, sneak peeks of Magnus Bane, which is amazing. I feel like he's in every book that I've read so far. And every time I see Magnus, I'm like, yes! Love him so much. We're okay. <laughs> but yes, you get originally get a sneak peek from him, from Alec, from the characters from the Mortal Instruments series a little bit into this series. Not a whole lot, but a very little bit, and I like that. And I'm pretty sure you also get a sneak peek of Jem and Tessa as well. I could be wrong. It's either, yeah, they're in here a little bit, and then of course we got the cat church. Oh, that cat. <laughs> He has a mind of his own, let me tell you what. But he got along with Jace, and I'm not sure why he got along with Jace, but I'm pretty sure he did. But anyway, this is also another good time in this three book series. So definitely check it out if you're interested in more of Cassandra Clare's writing. Or if you have just finished Chain of Gold and Missing the World, go back into Lady Midnight because because just do it <laughs> all right and there you guys have it there's the spelling of my books of April 
was a little difficult, but it was fun at the same time, and that's exactly what we need right now. So, if you want to be tagged in the video, if, to anyone who's watching, I tag you. Just uh, use the hashtag spelling April with my books, and I'll try to find the video. Or if you want to tag it to me on Twitter, I'll definitely leave my handle down in the description. And of course, of course, <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good day or night. And of course, get some unexpected reading in there because why not? And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me. That helps me. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in a new video very soon. Well, we hope. It's been a crazy week. And some crazy months. So, <laughs> I will see you guys in a new video uh, very, very soon. Okay, bye-bye!